What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Chris Moore. It's time to... You're going with me? <laughs> I'm going this time. It's time to go to work guys, it's super, super early. They got a killer fan system, got two brand new fans, two brand new exhaust yeah. fans. This is a really nice setup. We're about to head this GSXR right. going faster and faster and faster than it's ever been. And we're going to the track on Saturday to see how this thing does. out it is early in the morning 7 30 a.m that's 6 30 a.m eastern standard time what i'm used to so anyways we got here yesterday got settled in immediately went to the dyno the dyno is brand spanking new so we had some initial calibrations and setups and stuff we had to do on the dyno we got all that worked out we got it ironed out last night we got a tune done on a 2018 gsxr 1000 we're going back today, we're doing a 2011 ZX-10. We're gonna get it dialed in, ECU flash, dyno tuned. We got two more of the bikes that we gotta do today. Then we're headed to the racetrack on Saturday. We're gonna get these bikes dialed in, see how fast we can go at the racetrack and see what the Curacao race culture is like. I'm looking forward to it, it's super exciting for us as more mafia family take you guys along with us see what these other countries are like see what the race scene is like and to help the sport grow that's what we're all about let's go throughout the day see what we can get into day two in progress cx10 ecu flash dyno tune going down here in curacao so anyways, the dyno setup is working extremely good today. We got everything dialed in last night. Everything is going much better, much smoother today. We are about to get some power out of this ZX-10. See if we can boot up the computer and see. I can show you what our starting point was. This ZX-10 was completely stock, unflashed. It's got a, a Kropovich full exhaust. We started out with 155 horsepower. And we are about to take that, turn that around. Very few 2011 ZX-10 are still around that are restricted. In other words, they still have the stock ECU. This thing cuts off super, super early. We're gonna unrestrict that, unleash this thing, and get some more power out of it. All right, loading up bike number two on the dyno for today, 2018 GSX-R1000. We just finished up the ZX-10. I was just informed that the name on the side of the bike is Azabachi. That is a black gemstone. From what I understand, anyway. 
We ended up with 170 horsepower from 155 on the ZX-10. Keep in mind that all dynos read different. So you can't really say that, you know, that bike makes this horsepower. But either way, it started out with 155. It is a European ECU. That means it does not have the restrictions that our US ECUs have. So that was a really good gain, all out of tuning, air fuel ratios and stuff like that. It does not really have the restrictions the American bikes make. Let's see what we can get out of this GSX-R1000. It's been flashed as well and has a power commander. So we'll see what the flash looks like and then I may do a lot of the tuning through the power commander. This bike is on MR12. The rider of the bike, only 15 years old. He's been a 912 on it already. Stock wheelbase, that is killer. Very competitive super stock form. And he's using Curacao pump gas. So let's see what we can do on MR12. Alright guys, day three of the dyno tuning here in Curacao. We have some, I guess you would say, not we, the dyno guys here. They just got the dyno, it's brand spanking new. We found out we had a setting that was wrong in the dyno, causing our horsepower to read low. We put the blue GSX-R back on the dyno that you saw in the, basically that we tuned yesterday. That bike made 196 horsepower. Once we got the settings in there correct on the dyno, now we're doing a tune on a 2018 ZX-10 Special Edition. We made some adjustments to it. It already had a more Mafia male in flash. It made 199 horsepower right off the rip. Now we're reading the ECU, about to do some fine tuning and then put MR12 in it. However, the police officers have just showed up here at the dyno. We may be in trouble for making too much noise. Let's see what happens. Day three in the books here in Curacao. We got our first bike of tomorrow's dyno session loaded up this is a hayabusa grudge bike big motor with nitrous we're gonna get this thing dialed in we got the we had a calibration wrong on the dyno we got that fixed basic bikes made 160 something yesterday made 190 horsepower today so that's definitely good that's more like what they're supposed to make at home got everything finished out where are we going now junior to the club to the club man going to the club all right boys can you show you all that we're out of here day four on the dyno here we go again we got quite a few new bikes here today we got a 2017 gsxr 1000 that we're going to be tuning and then we're putting the zx10 that we tuned yesterday on mr12 and we're going to do it again we couldn't finish it yesterday because we could not turn off the check engine light on the dyno the bikes throw a check engine light because the front wheel is sitting still and the back wheel is spinning the bikes freak out when they freak out like that on a kawasaki you cannot change the modes on these bikes we can change the modes and do two separate tunes you can't do that on all bikes especially the suzuki but we got this one check out these rides here these things are super badass comment in the comments below what do you think about the paint on this compton what do you think about compton here in curacao This is what they drove here on the street in South Carolina. We're not allowed to drive side by sides on the street. Hopefully soon. It's been a busy day here in Curacao. We got everything going in the right direction though. We put the ZX-10 back on the dyno from yesterday. Finished the MR-12 tune. We got the check engine light turned out. And we are about to start on a Hayabusa Grudge bike. This is a big motor bike. And it's got like an 80 shot of nitrous or something. Stock injectors. It's going to be interesting to see the fuel system is enough, basically. I'm not sure that it's gonna have enough fuel injector to spray an 80 shot. But we're gonna try, we're gonna try to get it dialed in on motor. The ZX-10 made 204. We got everything rolling, boys. Tonight should be a fun night at the racetrack. Fuel injectors only fire when the bike goes wide 
open throttle under a load above 7,000 RPM. So the upper injectors have not fired in over a year, even though he's been cranking the bike up and running it, the upper injectors are clogged, they're stuck. So whenever we go wide open, when it gets to 7,000 RPMs, it just goes to skipping and sputter. So we tried to remove the injectors to clean them, but one of the screws is stripped out. And unfortunately, we do not have the tools here on the island to be able to get them out. So we're trying our best to clean the injectors now. Let's see if this works. Curacao Motorsports Park. This is our first time at a here at the racetrack in Curacao. We're gonna see what it's like. This is actually a very, very nice racetrack. NHRA sanctioned or NHRA approved. Hold on, hold on. It's NHRA approved, it's not NHRA sanctioned. They didn't want to go through and get the sanctioning, but either way, you get the point. It's still a really nice upscale racetrack. Let's check it out and see what they got. This is they claim the nicest track in all of the Caribbean. A lot of the guys don't know I'm here yet, so this is gonna be a surprise. I think they're gonna to like to see us here. Suzuki versus BMW on the line. Flat slick on this side. Coming up. 
up here. This is Randolph Torbrand over here. He is uh, part of the Moore Mafia Curacao camp. We did the dyno tune on this one earlier today. First pass of the night, let's see how he does. on the track in Curacao let's see how we do this is gonna be a new bike new track new everything let's see how we do I haven't been on a ZX-10 in forever how this tin can do we're going to try to start with about a 9,000 rpm launch spun the tire there but the prep surface isn't quite right back there so I think this is our happy spot Let's see how we do. We're lined up beside a GSX-R1000. I actually tuned the bike earlier. That's the one you saw in the video. The white and blue. horsepower and wow <laughs> I think we got her a little aggressive on the gearing we're gonna try to back her down to about a 6,500 rpm launch this next pass guys yeah that was uh quite the wild ride not what I was expecting for the first pass I'm not gonna lie usually these ZX-10s they're pretty lazy leaving apparently I didn't put the super tune on this one boys all right let's go back and uh, try it again all right guys round two we gotta do better this pass now nah, we just had the gearing way too aggressive for what I thought it was gonna do the bike definitely so the only ZX-10 I've ridden lately slash in the last couple years 
had a sidewinder on it. You know, you seen the white and green one, white and gray with the green. That bike had a sidewinder and you could twist the hell out of it and it would not go. Well, this one here, she goes. <laughs> ah, everybody at the track is watching this time. They're like, oh, he's got to do it again. No, we ain't doing it again. 6,500. track that's okay we at least uh oh I think that's the last turn off right there we at least made it off the starting line nice and smooth that time <clears throat> that was a decent pass minus the shifting issue where the fuck is the return road did I just pass it again Oh, I'm gonna get in trouble because I am riding up the track. This is not where you're supposed to go, boys. All right, we're off. <laughs> Much smoother launch. Now we just got to get the shifting down pat and we'll be good to go on this thing. boys this has got to be a good one here so we got the shifter fixed got it all adjusted we got the launch figured out the last pass this is hopefully the pass we put it all together and get a good time we're lined up beside a stock wheelbase zx14 over there spot there she goes right there let's see what we got baby we're gonna go with about a 6800 to 7000 rpm launch that seemed to be pretty smooth last pass we just need a smooth pass put it all together and get us a good time finish line we got to pull some sprocket off of this thing decent pass pretty smooth the shifting went good that time but it's hard to get used to the tachometer on a zx10 too you can see that the thing hopefully you could tell in my camera view there but it's it's hard to tell the difference between 13.5 and 14,000 14.5 really i got the rev limiter set at 14.2 I think this thing will do better shifting about 13.5. The problem is we ain't going to be able to make it to the finish line shifting at 13.5. So let's see what happens this next pass. I feel like we should almost be on the money that time. Or this next pass, the launch was super smooth that time. I think we're good to go, boys. Some of these guys do their burnout over on the side there. Hadn't quite figured that one out yet. I don't know what the logic is behind that. But uh, maybe some of the guys with the slicks are doing the burnouts over there on the asphalt versus the concrete. I don't know. It's the only thing I can think. 
you can see right there is asphalt and there is concrete so maybe they're wanting to do the burnout over there i don't know we got a lot of uh of i guess you would say real race bikes here cool track cool racing here they got a lot of fast cars as well too and another thing that i thought was odd a lot of american cars domestics a lot of chevrolets stuff like that I haven't seen any fords to be honest with you no mustangs or nothing like that but a lot of a lot of cool stuff <laughs> In Antigua, if you remember when we go back to that video, they only have imports there. They don't like domestics. I'm not going to say don't like. They don't have them. So I guess they don't like them. They're saying hold up here. We got something going on. Ah, rain. No good. So it's threatened to rain here. I don't know if you guys can see it a couple times tonight and uh it doesn't rain enough to wet the ground but it does rain enough to stop the action which sucks last time we stopped for literally just a brief second hopefully our tire doesn't cool off enough and we have to mission abort I don't know. The sky is pretty gray. You know how it is being in an island or in Florida where you get little rain all the time? It literally has been perfectly dry here the last four days I've been here. Now that we get ready to come to the racetrack, you got rain. You might guess. Alright guys, hold on on the action. Alright guys, pass for attempt number two after the brief rain intermission literally ground never got wet track never had to be dried but as a precaution we got to stop we are lined up beside a turbo hayabusa this time there's actually quite a few turbo bikes on the island here i was surprised how many turbo bikes they have and they run strong too. They got several seven second bikes. He's holding us up. We got somebody on the track down there. He probably didn't know where to turn off just like me. All right, baby. Waiting on the official to give us the okay. says we're good 7,000 just hits the rev limiter before the finish line that was definitely our best pass of the night should have been an eight second pass we'll wait and get our time slip and see but that was definitely clean i don't know what happened to the turbo boost he must have spun or something but we got to the finish line first finally we made a decent pass boys finally this zx10 is trying to throw us for a loop literally <laughs> Hopefully we got us an eight second pass. The majority of the, I guess you would say fast street style bikes like we're riding. This is an everyday bike. No air shifter, no nothing. Literally just an extended swing arm, ECU flash and some MR12 race gas. Going some eight second passes. Let's see what we got here. We better have won an eight second pass. Eight ninety one, hundred and forty nine miles an hour. You can see the mile per hour is really struggling due to hitting the rev limiter like that. 
the gearing is killing us all right guys maybe we can get in eight days we got to go a little better i think we got it in it we're getting faster and faster on the launch our last pass of the night here in Curacao. We are on a BMW S1000RR. This is one that belongs to a friend over here and he's having some troubles with it. Just wanted me to try it out. We're going to see how it does. Turbo Boosted just went down in front of us. Can't see how fast it went. 780, 720? I don't know. It looks fast. Let's see where to leave at on this BMW. Alright, so that was 8,000. He was saying he was leaving at 8 and it was bogging down. So we're going to try about 9 and smack it. That's what we did with the ZX10. It got us in trouble, boys. what we got here we go last turn off out in the bushes down here whoa it's dark i can't see all right guys here we go i messed up i thought the race was in the daytime and all i brought with me was a tennis shield so there's no lights down here and then i got on the tennis shield oh yeah we made it we made it flagging us down yeah for sure man I always love to get a picture with us especially with the international crowd I enjoy coming down here man and having fun with all these guys a lot of lot to learn when you come to these foreign countries a lot of culture differences a lot of uh, I don't know just whenever you start traveling the world you really learn a lot Whenever you see it from the outside looking in, you're like, oh, well, that's just different. But when you come and experience it for yourself, it's really eye-opening and uh, really cool to learn the ways different parts of the world do things differently. And whether it be what they eat or just, I don't know, how they talk to people, it's just, it's pretty cool. It, it really is a lot of fun. The island people here, a lot of fun. 905 153 miles an hour so not too terribly shabby for our first pass did do good shift yeah. my yes yes good the auto shift work no no i, I myself oh you push the button yeah. you need to try the auto shift one time just to see if it works yeah. and then i can help you adjust it okay yeah. So I did the tuning on that bike today as well. He went a good pass just then, 898. So a lot of these bikes at this track are pretty equally matched. And what I mean by that is the track sort of limits what these bikes can do. Even the turbo bike uh, sort of set up like Cassius Kingdom. He maybe not have as much boost or whatever. They definitely don't have automatic transmissions in them. 
and what I mean by automatic transmission is where they do not have kill uh, in a lot of these bikes they still have kill they're riding them back through the pits which is super freaking cool and going in the seven so a lot of a lot of cool stuff here last pass of the night here in Curacao on the BMW we went a 905 to last pass we're gonna try to get in the eights this thing has a stock front sprocket on it so that's what the kind of I guess you would say the dilemma is we're lined up beside a GSX-R1000 on the other side guess who tuned in today me <laughs> you're gonna try to bully me now Did I make the GSX-R1000 too fast? Is he about to lay it to me on the BMW? Let's see what happens. This BMW is about 72 inches long maybe. The GSX-R1000 is only like 66. He's shorter. He's also a little heavier too. Let's see what we can do with him. We gotta twist this BMW up and let her eat. But no matter what, even though you see the 10,000 RPM launch, as soon as the bike leaves, bogs down. And that's where the gear ratio is too tall. Now we had the exact opposite problem with the ZX-10. The gear ratio was too low on it, meaning we were having to shift too fast. In other words, the bike wasn't staying in the same gear long enough. And that's what about cut us a flip the first pass at 9,500, 9,000 RPMs. You see the BMW, we leave it 10,000 and it falls on its face. The ZX-10, we leave it 9,000, it almost throws me off. So the mile per hour was better on this bike, not due to having more horsepower, due to the bike running through the gear better on the top end. Either way, good fun runs. We had a great time here in Curacao. The party's not over though. We're gonna do some more playing tomorrow. I don't think that pass was as good as the first one. Results, 896. It was 881 on the GSXR. Wow. Good run. 04 reaction time for me. 01 red light for him. Technically, <laughs> I hate to do it to you, Zoo. But I won. Nah. Either way, a good running bike. 880s. That's a strong bike. 896. The customer should be happy with this bike. The customer should be happy with the other bike. Overall, we got in the eights with pretty much everything we messed with this weekend. My other customer with the white GSX-R1000, he got in the eights too. So overall, super good day here at the racetrack in Curacao. Track night is over. We got a few personal bests for our customers. We did quite a few ECU flashes. We took a ton of pictures with the fans and we got a bunch of people hooked up with more Mafia merch here on the Curacao Island. What a great time it was. What a beautiful facility they have here in Curacao. They are lucky to have a racetrack like this. They claim this is the best racetrack in all of the Caribbean. I think we're gonna go visit a few more just to find out what they're talking about. Cause I'm starting to like, I'm an island boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you like that part, didn't you? All right, guys, let's go.
at the airport guys our time here in curacao has come to an end it has been a mighty mighty fine time we enjoyed every part of it when i say we i'm talking about me and kelly and the whole curacao gang they showed the best hospitality we had the best time whether it was from eating the curacao food and just enjoying the curacao curacao island life we loved every minute of it and we had a good successful trip getting more horsepower out of their bikes and getting some better elapsed times i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did subscribe to the channel be sure to click the bell for notifications smash that like button check us out at moremafia.com if you got any more questions you can hit us up and contact us there all right guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time What's up guys, for those who don't know my name, my name is Chris Moore and I'm hey, now wait. at Gears Hour. That's my line! <laughs> oh, sorry man. Oh, <laughs> I want to get some fans from you. Oh, yeah, 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 I get you some fans. I get oh. Curacao, thank you. You're welcome, buddy. Have a nice trip. Right? Thank you.